If you ever want to talk turkey, the Walcott Elevator in Allendale, Michigan would be a good place to start. 46 years ago, it became Harold Walcott's starting point for what is now Walcott Farms, 13 locations in Ottawa County and one in Northwest Ohio. Along with providing two million turkeys to consumers, Walcott Farms and the industry in general provides jobs and taxes to the area not to be overlooked. Walcott Elevator itself and its uh, different entities have approximately 60 employees, but the turkey industry as a whole in West Michigan has uh, probably a little over a thousand, which is, um, you know, something that uh, we're proud of here in West Michigan, and um, and we're proud to raise, uh, you know, good birds, and, and we kind of uh, we kind of um, base our structure off family values, and um, you know, the families working on the farms, and um, that's what we do. Uh, I've worked for, for Walcott's for 23 years and it's uh, been a very satisfying uh, experience. Um, it, it's been a good time watching things grow. Um, growing with technology uh, has been great. Um, the modern technology that's out there, uh, you can, we can grow very good birds. Um, conditions in buildings, uh, dust control, environment, air quality has greatly improved over the last uh, you know, 10, 15 years, um, which has uh, greatly improved the health of the bird, which in turn has, uh, the bird is bigger, it's healthier. Um, and we pride ourselves on, uh, on providing the latest technology, the best out there, and we continue to update. Um, it, that's an ongoing uh, process. Um, so that we can continue to, to produce excellent birds and uh, hopefully in the future even, even better yet. Both Jason and Rick understand producing an excellent turkey means being steadfast from the start, the management of the farms, and providing care for the birds. On each facility here, um, we get birds at day old um, and we raise them to roughly 19 to 20 weeks. Um, they are started out in a brooder coop um, they are there till about four weeks. Uh, now water quality, um, litter quality is of utmost importance. Uh, we need to keep things clean here for biosecurity purposes. Uh, we, d we don't want any disease coming in because uh, it has a, a great economic impact on the bottom line if, if we lose birds due to some disease problem. The care for the birds that we provide is to the utmost standard in the industry as far as we're concerned. We like to have a clean, healthy, happy bird because the cleaner, the happier, the healthier, the better it is for everybody. Uh, we have, it's a viable source of protein to the consumer. It's a healthy meat product that uh, you know everyone should enjoy. For a turkey to become a viable protein source for consumers, it must first be fed its own source of the building block. Walcott Farms' choice is soy meal. Soybean meal is probably the most viable uh, protein uh, vegetable that's grown in the state of Michigan that we consume as a turkey industry. Um, we use 47.5% protein. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's locally raised, it's locally processed. Uh, most of our soybean meal comes from uh, Zealand Farm Services in West Michigan. Uh, we uh, consume approximately 430 ton a week, um, a little over 22,000 ton a year. The turkey consumes approximately uh, 25 pounds of soybean meal out of uh, 100 pounds to uh, send a turkey to market. So 25% approximately soybean meal is used to produce turkey. Nine of Walcott's 13 farms are verified in the voluntary Michigan Agriculture Environmental Assurance Program. With their focus on cleanliness, they understand being a good neighbor is critical to their success. They also understand that turkey litter, once a liability, is now a valuable asset. The manure is stored in, uh, in CAFO regulated manure storage units and we produce approximately 30,000 ton a year and that is uh, it's sold and used on local farms for soybeans, corn and other uh, vegetables. Um, basically any sort of crop that's grown in the state of Michigan, uh, you know, turkey manure has been used. The better the feed that we put into the bird, the better the product we're going to come out uh, the other end. So, uh, as far as the fertilizer content is concerned, um, you know our manure is a very uh, a very good source of nitrogen and uh, potash and other um, uh, trace minerals that uh, are grown throughout this area throughout the state. 
Walcott's turkeys weigh 40 pounds on average when they leave the farm and make up over 40 percent of the 4.2 million processed by the Michigan Turkey Producers Co-op, a cooperative of 16 operations, processing 96 percent of the turkeys in the state. In business now for 10 years, the employees, humane practices, and attention to animal welfare help the company provide high quality, safe products for the consumer. The meats that we produce are uh our raw cook products, and uh, we just recently, in the last few years, opened up a, um, a cook plant in downtown Grand Rapids also. Um, so our products go anywhere from Mexico to Russia as a raw product to cook products in Panera Bread, Jack in the Box, uh, Gordon Food Services, Myers. You know, it's an impact to the state of Michigan and uh, to consumers across the nation. Michigan turkeys consume over 50,000 tons of soy meal annually. That's the meal from more than 2 million bushels of soybeans. Walcott Farms alone uses the meal from 132 Michigan soybean producers each year. Numbers not lost on the United Soybean Board. Agriculture is the lifeblood of our hometown and, and many other rural communities in our state. And the poultry, swine and livestock people uh, uh, help maintain a viable economy for creating jobs and supporting local businesses and contribute to the tax base. And I support these producers because uh, they quite simply help rural communities thrive. The United Soybean Board is taking an active part in, in uh, supporting the animal ag industry and uh, some of the projects that we have and, and it's a very viable industry not only in Michigan but to our uh, old country. You can learn more about the connection between crop production and animal agriculture by logging on to animalag.org. And there's a lot more to learn about the soybean industry in Michigan by logging on to michigansoybean.org.